but I want that third country. Is that a sheep farm? Perfect. So it's a sheep farm represent textile. That almost never happens. This far north. Never happens this far north. We have a problem. I'm an idiot. I forgot to put a sending tower. That's gonna suck. towers. It increases it as you go to the city. Don't worry about it. Well, this is a very good small town. Denver is a functioning city. Our city of North Platte? I think they still call it that. It's doing the right. Okay, so they're highly annoyed with us. We are in a session. Profits are down. Still getting inching closer to that 51% we need to not get ousted ever. So let's go through our we have Salt Lake City. We just did because tons of ground. Nove Lare though. Has tons of What's the mouse? Oh my goodness, don't tell me we forgot to put a water tower there. Nope, we do. Just in case it is, because I like having those rest stops. We're gonna do that just for the rest stop alone to make sure our trains keep running on time. And then we're gonna add San Antonio to our track here. Do we need San Antonio? No, not really. Do we want San Antonio? Oh, heck yes. So it's just added pasture revenue before the automobile kicks in here in about... How many years? How many years? How many years? It kicks in... Oh, at the end of the year. Awesome! Awesome. Great. Have okay, not much cut all left. Because the cattle train just left. Perfect. How are they doing on that hill? They are out of sand. That's to be expected though, especially since we didn't have that rest stop between Dallas and Matera. So I mean that's a really to be expected. That they run out of sand there. We'll will put something there. 
I'm thinking probably even on the hill just to be safe in case they're out of sand. But it shouldn't be necessary for now. We'll have to see what it looks like. Uh, Dallas, Fort Worth has grown into a nice city. That's oil primary so we give us some money. We back and plant some netting is a ton of money. That's still losing us money. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, another one there now? Hey, they put a net in there. That explains why all the great. Perfect. Highly annoyed. We have extra grain coming out. Coming out of North Platte. But no mail. Now I have extra rain. So. Fargo is still decent and the roof is growing. Minneapolis really isn't growing very much bigger. There's not really much you can expand. Yeah, I've seen them expand all the way into massive area, into massive area, but it takes a lot. I think that might be about as big as Minneapolis is going to get, unfortunately. So down here, are they making it up the hill? They are. They're making it down the hill just fine, up the hill is meh, but that's okay. Kick it to go get the chicken. That is our main thing right now. We are going for the chicken point. 18 mile on the road. Profits are still down. It's kind of big stuff because you know, as long as there's any fits, that's maybe more. House or trains out of. Ooh, that's not gonna be good. Okay. That's not gonna end well. Okay, we need to add some way to make more money. So we've hit the point where we've spent a ton of it and really haven't expanded very well. We've added a lot of low profit areas and nothing to really hold us over. Friday, Randy, because eventually there's going to be houses beside it and we won't be able to do it after that. So, well, how can we add to this? What existing passenger service we have running between Denver, which is growing, and Rollins, which is also growing? About here. Nope. That explains that. So we fix that issue. Okay. What else do we have? Where else do we have something we can add to our Minneapolis St. Paul? about to pick up five. That would work very well. We could do a... That's what we'll do. Minneapolis St. Paul to Dallas. The fastest train we can find. To meet you. Minneapolis St. Paul to Dallas Fort Worth. Perfect. It's gonna be more worth it to just grab an additional passenger car than we need to do anything else. This one though, I'm going to grab it because I'm not I can't guarantee that there's going to be another passenger car down there in Dallas. So if I grab it like that, then I don't have to worry about it. Okay. 
Now our goal is to survive as a company until the GG1 comes out and we can upgrade all of our steam engines outside of the ones that are specifically made for the hills to electric. That's going to go to a express train because it's worth so much on such a far journey. San Antonio to Dallas. Yep. It just happened just to be right there on the screen as it happened. Okay, let's see if we can survive in front of the GG1. There's the US, RA, 060. Poor acceleration, good reliability, doesn't cost too much in maintenance and fuel. Uh, interesting thing though. That I am seeing on it. Not really made for hills, as you can tell by the 1 1 there for the 5 and 6 cars on a 6% grade. But on a 2% grade, it's got 35 to 30 mile an hour at 0%, it's a 40, 40, 37, 35, 32. So it seems like it's a for a low priority freight trains that go across the Flatlands. Not something particularly we're looking for. Now then, let's buy back some stock. What that does is it raises the stock price, so that way we don't have to worry about... I shouldn't say we don't have to worry. It raises the stock price, and shareholders want the stock to cost more. So that's why it's also advantageous to buy stock right at the end of the year, in like December, right beforehand, because it might save your job, literally in some cases. Do you know, if we do get ousted as the CEO of this company, though, then I will probably just go to the Northwest, or Northeast Corridor, and pop all through there. In fact, that'll probably be my next start. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. They're neutral. Alright, we got an increase in salary. We're doing something right. We went from being in depression to a recession, so a recession to recession. I forgot to buy stock again. That was the kicker. But here's the thing: we have that much money, so real quick, we pause it. We have 30 trains, of which eight of them are used for the mountains. At least eight of them, probably close to about 12. Which means of 18 trains at $300,000 a piece for the GG1. At three hundred thousand apiece for the GG one, that puts us at five million dollars. So it gives us four million dollars. We're looking at the cost of getting ousted. How do we make shareholders happy? Change the dividend. The dividend is how much per stock. How much money it is per stock. Let's do that because that's per stock three fifty six. So that would get that's us an extra two hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah, that'll help us buy more stock a lot faster. And that way we don't have to worry about getting housed in. And then we can go from coast to coast, from Chikikomiti all the way to Bluefields and Minaga. Check time. Coming back on track. Perfect. Before it gets any higher, though, because I missed it earlier, I'm buying the stock now. Part of the reason it said economy back on track, yeah, it's been dipping down, up and down, up and down, up and down. But with the raising the dividend, it makes everyone a lot happier and allows us to get some money back. It allows everyone to feel like it's a lot safer. So, 282 Mikado. What do we got? We have high maintenance at 32,000 a year, a high overall cost at 133,000. But, this is what I see I see a 6% grade at 32, 24, 18, 14, 10, 8. That is awesome. That is extremely awesome. 